Yes, uh, teacher Dean is back with the physics practicals for O level and A level. I'll put a lot of emphasis for O level in this video, though later on I'll be able to emphasize special issues that are only for those at A level. Yeah, now we're looking at presentation. Presentation and manipulation of practical results. How do we present them? And basically here, we're going to look at uh, part A, we are looking at uh, single measurements. Single measurements, then part B, we look at the table of results. Table of results. In part C, we look at the graph work. In part D, is about calculations, calculations and substitutions, calculations and substitutions. Okay, hope that is easy. It's understandable, substitutions. All right, now starting straight away with the, starting straight away with the single measurements, with a single measurement. So how do we handle the part of the single measurements? Now, there are some, some, um, there are some steps where you will be required. For example, they may ask you to measure the thickness of a meter rule, the thickness of a meter rule. For A level, for A level, those of you at A level, you, you, you can see that this meter rule may not necessarily be uniform. Eh? It may not necessarily be uniform. Somewhere here it is thinner and somewhere it is thicker. So what you do is that you measure three times. You measure three times and you know that for the thickness of this, you're supposed to use a micrometer screw gauge. Use a micrometer screw gauge. I will have special videos on how to use a micrometer screw gauge and how to use a vernier caliper for the A level as. So you measure three times. Take the measurements three times and then you take the average. You take the average. Uh, for single measurements, there are some measurements where you don't need to take three times. An example is they may ask you to take the initial recording, for example, an initial value, single measurement. Maybe it was the EMF of a, a cell, of a dry cell in a circuit, and it was V0. Just record it once, say V0 equals two. If it is 1.50 volts, you record it once, record it once. That one may not require a repetition. So note these two points, that under single measurements, there are those single measurements that require you to take measurements three times around three times to ensure that you, you get um, an average, one which is more accurate. But you may not have a lot of time to measure three times. So we always ask people, try to be as accurate as possible. And um, may you, okay, let me eliminate this out. Let me leave it out. Those of you that may, may be interested in knowing the technique, but it's simple, you can measure three times. For example, let me take an example. You, um, Uh, you may you may be required you may be required to measure the the width the breadth the breadth of the they usually call it breadth or width or they can say width of a glass block of a glass block if it is W maybe small W or it may be a B. So how do you measure it? How do you measure it? Um, here, for A levelers, this one of measuring three times is for A levelers. You are supposed to use what we call a vernier caliper. So you have to use a vernier caliper, a vernier caliper, which looks like this. Um, how to use it, that will be some other video, because I need to save time for our little friends who are in 
in senior four and senior three and senior two, possibly who are watching this video. Now, so um, you measure, you measure the breadth using a vernier, a vernier caliper, vernier caliper. This is a vernier caliper. So you measure the breadth three times, three times, then you get the average. Yeah, like that. That's about single measurements. Now, the values which you obtain, record them. Record them in a suitable, in a simple table, a very simple table. Let me give you an example. For example, you may have obtained that um, the breadth of, uh, for example, the breadth of a glass block, that one, is around the, the first value you got, B1, B1 in centimeters was uh, 6.8, 0.8 one. No, 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 okay, 6.8 one, yes. Because we have used a vernier caliper. A vernier caliper measures two, two decimal places in centimeters. So that is our first value. Then we measure again the second value. Then we measure again the third value. So you have 6.81, some other point, you had 6.79, then some other point, you had 6.8, hmm. So you must have a smart table, those values there. Now, Get the average, get the average of the three. So we shall have B equals two. It's going to be 6.81 plus 6.79 plus 6.81, all over three. And whatever you're going to get will be centimeters. You can put this later, no problem. Um, you can do this. You can do this in put this in your calculator. Add and see what you get as the average. And for me, if I press here on the calculator, I get I end up with the, the calculator gives me gives me six point eight zero three 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 decoding. So what exactly do we write? Hmm. You write the degree of accuracy of the instrument used. So um, understand that a vernier caliper, this one, measures length in centimeters to two decimal places. Now convert that to meters, you'll definitely have four decimal places, four decimal places. Um, for example, here we are going to have 6.80. This is going to be 6.80. Now you don't need to have this step shown. Yeah, straight away, just move to that. That's what you do, right? So that's about single, single measurements. That's all about single measurements. On the other hand, by the way, something very serious. I've seen students make mistakes. Someone is told, record the initial position of the pointer. Record the initial position of the pointer. That's just one value. And the pointer, initial position of the pointer was P naught. So they write P naught. And then, these are the common errors. They wanted you to write P naught, maybe equals to, for example, if it was 15.2. That was your initial position. You're supposed to present it like that. You'll get, in most cases, you'll get a full mark. Can be one and a half, can be a half for each, any. They can distribute in any way. Common errors, there are students who write this way. The those who write, someone says P naught, and they put in brackets in centimeters equals to 
15.2. What, what are you writing? Seriously, what's that? P naught in centimeters? No. We only use brackets. Please note that this kind of quotation is used in the table of results. The table of results only. And then there are those who write otherwise. They write P naught equals to 15.2 centimeters and they put brackets. Put brackets. What are you writing? Brackets are used only in the table of results. Still the same story. And then on the other hand, there are those who don't include the units. Hmm? Ha. The surprising bit of it is this. Someone puts wrong units somewhere. This is the most disappointing. Find someone telling you that the initial position, P naught, on a meter rule was 15.2 meters. Like meters. Do you know how long that thing is? 15.2 meters. <laughs> Uh, that's impossible on a meter rule, which is even, which is just one meter. But for you, you are able to get 15.2 meters. So check your, uni your units properly. Write with the appropriate symbols. And there are those who ignore you know, the, initial, the, the initial values, those single measurements. They ignore you know, them and they end up losing marks. Please don't lose the marks, okay? Now, I'm going to put a lot of emphasis about the table of results and the graph work because that's where the marks lie. See you there. Bye-bye for now.